genius. Beautiful greenway here. Run on this path many times, but first time biking on it. I used to ride this bike every day, like five years ago, five, six years ago. And just yesterday I got the tires, inner tubes replaced. So feels like it's working like new. First time riding this bike here or just in general in several years. It's a mountain bike. <clears throat> 21 speed bike. Trek bike. Planning to go to the end of this greenway trail here and then head back. Right now we're recording in 1080p 30 FPS, I believe, with rock steady image stabilization enabled. 
It is a great day to be outside. Overclass, cl overcast, clouds everywhere. Cool and damp as it rained overnight. It feels great. It's like 69 degrees. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. 69, 70 degrees in Georgia. I'll take that in in late May now. Definitely take that. <laughs> Now keep in mind this mountain bike is not meant for speed because of the suspension and the tires. And I do not want to knock the chain off because if I can't get the chain back on myself with my hands, then I'm stranded out here and have to walk the bike all the way home. I'm not trying to do that. Now, I took this bike to REI yesterday and one of the technicians there did a little quick systems check. You know, took five minutes and he says everything's in working order. And he replaced the, the inner tube so the tires are pumped up now and everything, but I haven't ridden this bike in a few years. It's been sitting in, in a storage shed, so who knows, something could go wrong. I'm not trying to mess anything up. Right now I'm in gear seven of seven on the right side and gear two of three on the left side. At first I hadn't used this bike in so long. I actually dead ass forgot how to change gears for the whole first few minutes of this ride. But I finally switched it from gear one to gear two. And I could put it in gear three. There are a lot of sticks and leaves fell here. It's a beautiful path though. Probably gonna run a couple miles after this too. My plan is to either race 800 meter race or a mile race or a 5,000 meter race, all of which should be hosted at this track at this all comers meet tomorrow night. I'm gonna try to record it. The event takes place tomorrow night around like, starting at like 4.30, they open the gates and the events go all the way to like 9 p.m. I'm gonna try to record the race. I just don't know if I'm gonna run the mile. I think it's a full mile, like not 1600 meters, 1609 meters. Full mile, 800 and 5K. They should be hosting them all unless they don't have enough people registered then they might cut the 5k and that's the last event so I don't want to wait for that event and then they just don't even race it so I'm gonna try to take it pretty seriously It'll be my first real race in a long time hopefully there's some people to help push me because otherwise it's just gonna be a time, glorified time trial it might be anyway I don't know what kind of shape I'm in but hoping I can run a 5k if I could run a 5k under 17 minutes right now, I would be very impressed. My PR is 14 minutes, 54 seconds, but that's from over five years ago. And I know I'm not in that kind of shape right now, but I think, I think I'm definitely in shape to under, run under 18 minutes. I think if I'm just having a normal day and my legs feel good, I got the flexibility, you know, my stomach feels good, everything's normal, I think I should definitely be able to go under 18 minutes, I would think. Even if I'm racing against nobody, I would think. And if I'm having a good day, uh, maybe I could go under 17 minutes. I haven't done that many workouts like that though, only done a couple track workouts no real like tempo runs and um, yeah and if I went under 
16 minutes, I would be extremely shocked. But like I said, my PR personal best is 1454. But that's not the goal. The goal is to just, and I don't even know which shoes I'm gonna wear yet. I have to test them out today or tomorrow. I had to get new shoes because I haven't been running like this in years. And I got a pair of super shoes, Nike Alpha Flies and Nike Dragon Flies, which are like super spikes. And I haven't run in either of them yet, so I don't know how well they fit. I need to try them on and test them soon so that I can return them if they don't fit well. And then I also just have the regular like $60 Nike Zoom Rival D spikes that I ran one of those 400s in. And yeah, I have allergies, so excuse my sniffling. Probably just allergies. Well, we're almost at the end of this Greenway Trail here, and then I'm going to turn around. But... Yeah, I haven't decided which shoes I'm gonna wear yet. And I, I still don't know which race I'm even gonna run yet. Probably only one race, which I'm probably, I know the order of events, like the 800, the scheduled to go at like, I don't know. The 800 is scheduled for like seven or 7.30 and then the mile is scheduled for like 7.30 or 8, and then the 5K is scheduled for 8.30. But I haven't been to one of these all-comers meets in years, but when I used to go, they would sometimes cancel the 5K at the end because it's the longest event and people are tired and a lot of people don't show up to run it. So they just cancel it. So, I don't know. But it's on an alternating schedule, so. This week, they're uh, running the 800 mile in the 5K, and then the next week, they're going to run the 400, which I want to run, because that's the only time trial I've done is two 400s, or three, I guess, if you count that bootleg race against Frank. So the next week, they're going to run the 400, 1500, and the 3K. And then they just alternate like that week to week. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna run tomorrow, what I'm gonna race next week. And they'll alternate like that for four more weeks tomorrow and then three more Tuesdays after that. I'll probably go to every one if I can. I couldn't go last week, unfortunately, because I had to take this coaching class. But yeah. And right now I'm just biking because I finally got this bike, you know, out of the shed and working after years. And I figured why not incorporate a little bit of cross training. It's the day before, you know, when I'm planning to race. So I'd like to take it a little easy on my legs. I actually didn't even run yesterday at all. Took yesterday off, first day off in like three weeks. I've been running like 50-ish miles a week, something like that. So. And then. Uh, what you call it? Oh yeah, so. Like, I'm probably gonna be racing tomorrow. I say race, I don't know how many people are even gonna be there. And how many people are even going to be running remotely fast? Because it is an all-comers meet. So I think they're going to race all the boys, girls, women, men, everyone. People with disabilities, anybody. I think they're all going to be running together. It's just an open meet. But, you know, I'm expected to run tomorrow around 7 or 8 p.m. They said the events could start as early as 20 minutes ahead of schedule. So I got to watch out for that. Make sure that I warm up at the right time and everything and stretch. 
open up my hip flexors because that's been that has been key for my training recently drastically improved my hip flexor flex uh flexibility recently in my range of motion and it's helped a lot because it's not five years ago and i am now an old man i'm gonna be 25 in july july 24th just two months from now but i don't know i'm leaning towards running the 5k because i'm planning on running 10,000 meter road race on july 4th world's largest 10k no sorry yeah U.S.'s largest road race, world's largest 10K. And I haven't, uh, I haven't run it since 2018. And in 2018, I was kind of just, you know, winging it. I trained a little bit, but not seriously at all. I just did like a month or so of like five miles most days. And I ran like 38 minutes in 2018. I haven't run one since. And in 2014, I did pretty well. And then in 2015, I placed 22nd overall and second in my age group. 15 and, ages 15 to 19, I placed second and ran 32 minutes, 40 seconds in the road race. And I was only 18 at the time. But that was 2015. It's 2022 now. It's been seven years. But... You know, if I have some people to string me along, I'm not ruling out the idea that I could run, you know, something maybe comparable to 2014 or 2015. It just depends how hard I push myself. But it would definitely be very impressive if I ran any time around that, considering I've only been training consistently since like mid-March of this year, like two months. But yeah that's why i'm leaning towards running the 5k because i got to get used to longer distances if i'm going to run that 10k because that's going to be like my biggest race of you know since i've come back to running all right say come back to running in 2018 and in 2020 i was running sporadically but i haven't been training this consistently like daily you know, cardiovascular training, that is. Musculoskeletal training, I've been doing, but I've stayed in good shape, like, in terms of, like, my aesthetic physique and whatnot, but cardiovascular shape, my lungs, my heart, been out of shape for, like, five years. But, yeah, so, first peach tree since, peach tree since 2018, and first serious one since 2015. Or I guess 2016, I raced it seriously, but... I ran like 36 minutes. I was feeling horrible that day. I don't even remember why. I think my legs were just shot from so much mileage, like 100 plus mile weeks. Yeah, I figured I'd just bike today to just take it easy when it comes to the impact on my on my shin, shins and my joints, my hips, my knees, everything like that because like I said, uh, every, I haven't taken a day off in like three weeks until yesterday and running is like the most like high impact sport on your joints and everything. So I figured I'd just bike the day before the race. I might run a couple of miles after this, just, you know, since I didn't run yesterday, just to go through the motions kind of. I might do a couple miles tomorrow morning as a little shakeout run since the race isn't until night, until the late evening, but yeah, that's probably the plan.
but yeah, I don't know. My 800 meter PR is still from like 2015, my senior year of high school, and that's 205.67, very slow. And based on, you know, the little, little speed work I have done, you know, and already breaking my 400 PR, because I, I never technically ran anything faster than 58 seconds until that 57 that I recorded. And that was with, you know, a month of training and over like five years off from competitive running. So if I was able to beat my 400 PR by a second, that PR was from college and that was in the middle of a workout. It was the first 400 meters of a 500. If I was able to beat that, you know, I'm not ruling out the idea that I could break my 800 PR. And with a little bit of training, I'd be very confident I could break two minutes in the 800, but maybe even do it tomorrow if I had people to push me and I had a stellar day, but I don't know if I want to run the 800. But I am leaning more toward the 800 and the 5K than the mile, I'm thinking. But I don't know. The thing is though, depending, depending on what I race tomorrow and how I do, that might affect my decision, you know, in regards to what I'll run two weeks from now. Because like I said, the, it's on an alternating schedule. I already missed two weeks of all comers meets. Last Tuesday and the Tuesday before that, I think that's the two I missed. There's like six in total. So there's four more counting tomorrow. 800 mile 5k tomorrow and the next tuesday 400 1500 3k and then same thing for the next two tuesdays they'll alternate so we'll see if i have a good performance in one of them i'll probably just switch to another one unless i feel like i had a good performance but i can still greatly improve upon it then i might run the same event again and just try to specialize a little bit I don't know. Like say if I ran if I ran tomorrow, if I ran the eight hundred and like two oh four and beat my high school PR, or not my overall PR technically, because I never ran the eight hundred in college. If I ran two oh four and I felt pretty good doing it, then I might incorporate a little bit more speed work and two weeks from now I'll run the eight hundred again. I don't know. And the 800 is the first event, so if my legs don't feel totally destroyed, I could technically run the 5K after, after a little break, because I'd have to run the mile in between. But that might be suicide, to be honest with you. It might just be suicide. Probably not going to do that. Especially because then the next day my legs will just feel trashed. I don't know. I feel like since I'm, I want to prepare for the 10K, um, for the Peachtree Road Race, because of that, I feel like I should choose 5,000 meter run. But if I'm realistically thinking what I could probably run my best time in right now, I'd say I'm probably in best shape for the 800 right now. If I was to run the 800, my plan, depending on if I have anybody pushing me, if I have somebody leading, that would change everything. But ideally, I'd want to go through the 800 in like six, uh, go through the first lap in like 60 seconds and then just see what I can close in and just try to hold my form together and hang on. Dig deep, the last 200. But if I run the 5K, I'ma just, I'ma wear my watch for sure and just time the whole thing, watch my splits every lap and just try to run a certain pace based on how I'm feeling, how my legs are feeling, everything like that, how my breathing is. 
Because realistically, if I run a 5K, I feel like I could probably, it would probably be a struggle to hold like 5.30 pace in the shape I'm in right now. But it could be done, especially if I'm pacing myself with a stopwatch. But I could also see myself easily running slower than that, like 5.40, 5.45 pace. And if I'm out in no man's land and have nobody pushing me and I'm feeling like crap, I could see myself running oh, six minute pace almost maybe. But I guess we'll just see. I could also see myself running, you know, maybe 520, maybe even like 516 per, per mile. Maybe. But... I've done barely any sort of speed training. So, I don't know. But I could also save a lot of time if I unleash a ferocious kick the last like 800 meters. Yeah, but I just wanted to bike today since I just got this bike fixed up and take it a little easy on my joints especially since I've had a sore Achilles tendon the last couple days that was part of why I decided to not even run yesterday I just want to make sure you know everything's working the way I want it to on on race day and yeah but like I said I'm considering just to go through the motions I'm considering running like two miles right after this bike ride I think I'm gonna do that I could keep the camera rolling, honestly, as long as it still has battery, which I think it does. I could just keep it rolling. I guess I could do that. I think I'm going to do that. And then, like I said, probably going to do at least just like one or two miles tomorrow morning for a shakeout run. Just to get the legs moving. Because the race isn't until, you know, 7 or 8 p.m., tomorrow night hopefully I'm gonna be able to record the whole race even if I run 5k which is 12 and a half laps around the track so long race I'll try to update you guys on what's going on and make a video out of these types of things. I haven't switched gear since I started this, man. Still on gear two or three on the left and gear seven or seven on the right, which, not gonna lie, burns my quads a bit going uphill. Ain't gonna lie to you. Here we are at the Mite residence. All right, about 30 minutes of biking. Felt comfortable the whole way. Especially since when you're biking on hills, you know, downhill, you're not doing any work, so. My legs do feel a little bit sore already, but no shallow breathing. Nothing like that, I feel good. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna just probably run like 15 minutes and then shut off the camera. Hi, Precious. Hi, baby. <clears throat> Watch out, sweetheart. Oh, 
Why the heck is this here? Okay. I know, sweetie. I'm not quite finished yet, sweetie. Oh, I know. It's my girl. go back out. I don't know how much battery life this camera has left. Should be a decent amount though. Should be. <laughs> Alright Precious, I'll be back in 15 minutes, okay sweetheart? Love you baby. Come on. Oh yeah, it's such a nice day to run, man. So cool, beautiful. I, I, if it wasn't the day before a race, I'd probably run like ten miles today. This weather is amazing. All right. Oh yeah, that that bike ride definitely zapped my legs a little bit. I'm gonna just take it nice and slow. I might only run 10 minutes and then run 10 minutes tomorrow morning. I do not want my legs to be tired tomorrow. Especially, especially if I run the 5K. My Lord. Dead possum. Sun's coming out for a moment. Yeah, it is windy. I might honestly just do a few laps around here. I'm not even running right now, I'm just jogging. Might just do four or five laps, four or five loops around here and just call it. Feeling a bit of patellar tendonitis maybe. A little bit of inflammation in my left knee. So, my left knee has always been problematic, chronic injury type thing. So, take it easy. Yeah, I'm gonna need to take a pain reliever before tomorrow's race if my left knee is feeling like this. Most definitely. Try to numb the pain for a few hours during the race.
we'll run the other way now for a couple laps. Probably do some quick strides tomorrow morning too to really get the legs moving. I want to do them now, but I'm afraid of the camera falling. I'm gonna add on a little bit. Maybe go to 15 minutes. I'm gonna stretch for 30 minutes after this.
Also, since, even though I didn't run yesterday, I did an upper body workout. So I'm gonna really take it easy. For those who don't know, I started a, I started at 20 push-ups per day last, like the end of last summer. And then after just like a month or two, I went up to 25 push-ups a day, at least. Sometimes more, sometimes, a lot of times actually. Also doing like ab workouts and stuff, incorporating other stuff. And I continued that for like all the way until last month. But I figured if I'm really gonna start racing again, unfortunately I have to stop the challenge. I went for like eight or nine months doing daily push-ups. But most of those days I wasn't running. Once I started running and ramping up mileage and decided I wanna try to race again, I realize I just can't do that. It'll just be stupid. My arms will just feel like noodles during races. So now I'm working out every, doing upper body workouts every two to three days instead of push-ups and push-ups every day and other upper body stuff every couple days. So I went eight or nine months straight consecutive days doing push-ups, but the streak has been broken. As of, I think, earlier this month or last month, late last month. It was around that time when I did the 60-second uh, 400 racing prank. That's when I stopped. I didn't completely stop. I still do push-ups, just not every day. I wanted to go for a year, but a year straight and make a video of the results, but I'd rather race and make videos of that. I'm gonna try to just stride it out here, ramp up the pace. said 1454 exactly when I crossed the driveway. It's my 5k PR. Gonna have to slowly work ourselves down to that shape though. If I continued running at the University of Georgia, I probably could have, I definitely think, broken 14 minutes in the 5K. But things happen. It ain't over till it's over, so 
Just gonna train and just see what kind of shape we can get into. Push our limits safely, you know, while avoiding injury. High pressure. All right, I'm gonna take this vest off. Now, like I said, I've been doing less upper body workouts, so I'll do a quick physique check, but I have more lean now. Oh, sorry. Still going? Still pretty defined, pretty cut, but definitely more lean. Trying to get down to like under like under like 150 I want my race rate race weight to stay under like 150 in fact let me go weigh myself right now but these shorts are heavy they have like the compression shorts underneath attached to them plus these shoes are like two pounds Plus I'm wearing my watch and I'm holding the camera. I have socks on. So I'll probably add on like, or take away like three pounds from whatever this says. 156, so probably like 153 right now. Although I'm probably pretty dehydrated. So with some water weight, you probably add another pound or two. But yeah. Well, that's it. Stay tuned. Uh, Gonna make plan on making this into a video. Stay tuned for um, what you call it, house tour, house tour, and yeah, house tour, time lapses, biking videos, and other locations and running videos coming soon. That's the plan. I need to wash those dishes, bro. But yeah, that's my dog. Hi, precious. Want to say hi, sweetheart? Oh yeah, the battery's still, what's the percentage? Looks like it's still at about 50%. So, that's good. Recording 1080p 30fps with the rock setting. I just turned on the uh, display. I just realized I can preview now. Like I wanna see what angle. I could turn this into a clickbait thumbnail. Dude, look at that tan line. That is bad, man. That is bad. That's what happens when everyone makes you wear shirts, man. That tan line is bad. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching, man. I'm going to end the video now. I got stuff to do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. More videos coming soon, I hope. And... Plan is to race tomorrow. I got to go stretch now. Thank you guys for watching.